All right, I just made a huge breakthrough in the energy field using piezoelectric material called lead zirconate titanate. I believe all of you are gonna wanna watch this because this little design that I built here is fascinating. Don't go anywhere, watch this. All right, so right now I have my two leads hooked up to my lead zirconate titanate wafer. Let me show you how much energy this produces volt wise. And then I'm gonna show you how much it produces amp wise before I connect it to this system right here. Okay, so this system right here is utilizing foot pound leverage and there is a magnet on the very end of it here. Now before I get to that, I'll show you what this one currently produces. See that? Now if I give a good angled pinch on it, I can get a good 15 to 25 volts out of this piece alone. All right, now if I turn it to the milliamp setting, check this out. I'm still getting a good three milliamps, which is about a tenth of a watt, which is very significant. Now this is where it gets interesting. Force amplification gets very interesting because I'm utilizing physics, okay? This right here is called leverage over distance. When I tap on this end right here, I get a lot of leverage up here generating the piezoelectric energy. So when I connect these leads to this piezoelectric material here, give me one second and I'll do that. Okay, so I have my two leads hooked up. I'm sorry if the camera angle's a little turned, you're gonna have to move your phones. So I have it set on the milliamp setting right here. See that? And then when I give this little three watt powered motor just a slight turn, I'm already producing a tenth of a watt, just about a tenth of a watt without even trying. But it has to be timed. If I go any faster, it has a hard time sticking with the repelling field because it's flowing too fast. But if I keep it at this rotation, I get the maximum current and voltage draw out of it. And in my next video, I will be showing off how I can redirect this energy into capacitors and hopefully maintain this motor indefinitely. So, and if you have any other questions about what I'm doing, please comment below. Hope to get a lot of your support. I haven't seen anything else like this on YouTube. Let's see how far we can go with this. Peace out, everyone.